Okay, guess we're going live here. Um, recording, I should say. Wanted to talk again about uh, you know, my, my thoughts about the unified theory of, of science and religion, of the universe, how everything works. Um, spoiler alert. <laughs> if you don't want to know, turn away. I, and uh, it's, it's hard because uh, the implications of it are, are so huge. It makes me wonder how people are going to be able to handle it. But uh, I just feel compelled to, to share it. Um, and I'm here at the Griffith Observatory today to try and talk to someone with some scientific background who can grasp, you know, these concepts that to me they're, they're pretty simple. Um, and you start with the understanding that everything is explained by the electromagnetic spectrum. Gravity itself, light, it's positive and negative energy. Dancing around, spinning around in this endless, you know, loop, infinity. Um, and so, I mean, Nikola Tesla nailed it well over a hundred years ago when he said that everything is, is light. That's the energy that animates you. Um, that is the, the, the chi or the, the, the um, what different cultures call it different things. That's the life, the spark, you know, of life that's inside you. And for that reason, uh, religions are right. You are an infinite being. We evolve from stars. The, the deep reality that we don't perceive with our five senses is that everything is energy. Einstein proved it with his equation. Energy equals matter times the speed of light. I break it down. Uh, energy equals uh, mass uh, times the speed of light squared. Um, and so what is that energy in that equation? Well, it's light itself, the energy of light. It's a nuclear reaction. And, and here's the kicker. So our universe, quote unquote, that we think of as everything is is a star it just is and when our universe was born there was a parallel dimension a, a black hole born at the same time and this is the the dance of again positive and negative energy gravity pushing in on us our universe our star versus the you know light and you're being a light being a, a quantum being what is it that you crave out of life it's freedom to transcend and you have to struggle for it and um, if you know what how stars work you know someday the energy is, is, is used up uh, it start, starts producing iron in its core and that kicks off the death process of that star a supernova um, and so if our universe is a star well guys it's being crushed by by gravity right now and that's the establishment that is it's kind of poetic, right? Um, the, the ancient foe throughout human experience, um, from any great revolution, uh, slavery, any you know, great myth, Thor's, you know, the Norse god, Thor's uh, arch enemy was the, was the Midgard serpent. And I think of the Ouroboros, you know, that, that ancient symbol, the snake that circles you know, the world eating its own tail, eating itself, it's gravity. At some point, gravity wins momentarily, but then we go supernova. And that's why every story uh, is, is essentially the same. It's a story of freedom versus oppression. Um, I didn't explain that very well, but that's how it is, guys. Um, we're light beings, so revolution is written in the cosmic calendar. That's why I'm here now. This solar eclipse is so important. And few people are talking about it, and no one else seems to grasp how important it is. Um, this solar eclipse, it cuts the United States basically in half. Um, and the, it's exclusive to the United States. No other countries are going to see this eclipse. The last time that happened was 1776, the first American Revolution. I think Donald Trump was born on a, a lunar eclipse. Um, again, everything's electromagnetic energy. It's always darkest before the dawn. There's a scientific reason for that. The calm before the storm. Your life is a storm. Um, that's, that's from the Count of Monte Cristo. Um, but guys, the storm is a magnetic storm caused by an eclipse, a supernova. It's all the same thing. I really think a, a solar flare is a, solar, is a supernova seen through one dimension of space-time. And a black hole is, is a wormhole seen through one dimension of space-time. 
It's a nuclear reaction, guys. It's chaos. It's crazy. It's beautiful. It always works out. Um, you know? So how does this relate to God? And well, God is light, love, all of us, everything. We've all ours. When you meditate and you get that sun on your face, you, someone's had that spiritual connection. That's communion with God. And the ancient civilizations worship the sun, and you can understand why. Just instinct, instinctively, you know, that's where all the energy comes from. That food that you eat is solar energy that's been transferred, converted to food. Um, so, what else can I say about that? Yeah, so, revolution, guys. Uh, there are those of us who just refuse to break when so much progress is on the line. We, you know, all, all the answers are coming huh? in terms of how to reverse the aging process. It's called neurogenesis. Look it up. Um, and again, the unified theory. With the unified theory, I think time travel is right around the corner. That's our destiny. Um, I understand, we, it, you know, and one of the implications of Albert Einstein's, what he proved is that every moment of space-time is real, exists. Our concept of now is, is really an illusion. Yesterday still exists. That means you exist in multiple dimensions of space-time. Um, it's a trip, but that's just how it is. Um, there are infinite copies of you in, in the multiverse. Every star out there is a universe unto itself. Consciousness. Everything is consciousness. Um, and if I was to, you know, you, you want to look up some, some references on what I'm talking about, um, look up just the, the nature of space-time. There's some good stuff on YouTube. Look up, um, there's a TED Talk given by this uh, yogi. He's talking about meditation and how the, uh, you know, yogi philosophy and thinking is that everything is consciousness, that we are connected. Um, and uh, he's absolutely right. Everything is, is consciousness. Um, there's TED Talks about neurogenesis. Watch that. Um, hopefully I can find someone that understands, you know, Einstein. No one thinks about Einstein. And there's some other things that he proved that I think are important. Um, that when you look you know, it, 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 with your telescope at the, the sky and we look into the past, actually, it's not just the light that is traveling. It's time itself moves through space at the speed of light. And the point that you move through, the point that you're moving at the speed of light, time doesn't pass. And that's the deep reality. It doesn't pass. Guys, let's figure it out. Let's work together on this. Share the video. Uh, it'll work out somehow. I wish you well. Have a good day.